Moscow-based Suhoi Aircraft Design Bureau has started flight tests of their new so-called vertical takeoff unmanned transport platform, named S-76. Until recently, the Russian manufacturer had only shown a prototype in the making, without skin. During the Armia 2024 Expo this August, Suhoi and partners demonstrated a fully made model for flight trials for the first time. In Russia, this platform is called a combination of an airplane and a multicopter. It has electric motors for vertical takeoff but also a piston engine running on AI-95 gasoline and kerosene. The main purpose of the platform is the transportation of goods, and the Russian aircraft maker positions it primarily for commercial freight deliveries. Suhoi says utilizing the S-76 for cargo flights will be one-third cheaper compared to using manned aircraft. Nonetheless, this platform also has potential as a military asset as well. Especially considering that the developers emphasize that their S-76 does not need specially prepared takeoff, landing sites or any additional infrastructure to depart. According to declared capabilities, the S-76 can work completely autonomously via a pre-programmed route, though the type of guidance is not specified. The maximum takeoff weight is 1,500 kg, including the maximum cargo weight of 300 kg. The length of the fuselage reaches 7.2 meters, and wingspan is 11 meters. The drone's cruising speed is 180 km per hour, the operational ceiling is 4 km. Fully loaded, S-76 has a flight range of 1,000 km but it needs to be refueled at the destination. Otherwise, it is halved down to 500 km. The S-76 has already completed a few tests, as of today, vertical takeoff, hovering, and landing have been practiced. Earlier, on the 12th of August 2024, the first day of the International Military Technical Forum, Army, UAC presented a full-scale prototype of the S-76 unmanned transport system for vertical takeoff and landing. This is the Atlas, which in the winter of 2022 Suhoi Design Bureau told us about. If we create an unmanned aircraft with the same approaches as in manned aviation, it will not be possible to drastically reduce the cost of cargo delivery and the cost of an aircraft flight hour. Yevgeny Rubsov, Suhoi Design Bureau, project manager and chief designer of the BTSVAB, noted during the presentation of the S-76 at the Patriot Congress and Exhibition Center that a comprehensive approach is needed to solve this problem. We have to solve this issue with a set of measures. And the name of this complex of measures is Unmanned Transport System of Off-Airfield Basing with a family of S-76 aircraft. We are talking about a system that includes unmanned aircraft with a high degree of automation of control systems, a single operation center that interacts with the aircraft, with air traffic control for integration into a single airspace, with ground landing sites and ground infrastructure, as well as with end customers and consumers. If we manage to create such a simple and convenient system, we will be able to show a significant reduction in the cost of cargo delivery," said Yevgeny Rubsov. He added that the key element of the unmanned transport system is the vertical takeoff and landing transport aircraft, which is presented at the Patriot ECC. Eight electric motors are used to perform vertical takeoff and landing. Horizontal flight is provided by the aircraft's supporting wing and a piston petrol engine with a pusher propeller located in the tail part of the fuselage. The piston engine together with the wing provides high fuel efficiency for long-distance flights compared to helicopters. 
The area required for takeoff and landing of the C-76 can be 17 times 17 meters. The C-76 is 7.2 meters long, 2.9 meters high and has a wingspan of 11 meters. The Suhoi Design Bureau notes that the wing increases the UAV's fuel efficiency. The S-76 has a takeoff weight of 1,500 kg, a cruising speed of 180 km per hour, and a flight altitude of up to 4,000 meters. Automatic ground control ensures ease of operation. The flight is fully automatic, following the route preset in the onboard calculator. Communication between the operations center and the C-76 is maintained by the operator via GLONASS, one operator can control up to 12 C-76 hovercrafts. The BTSVAB can be operated in the far north. The range of flight with 300 kg cargo without refueling is 1,000 km. If it is necessary to deliver the cargo to a site where there is no possibility to refill the fuel tanks and return back, such a site should be located at a distance of no more than 500 kilometers. The volume of the hovercraft cargo cabin is 2 cubic meters, it can hold two standard 800 by 1200 by 144 millimeters pallets or two transport containers. Intrafuselage cargo placement and maintenance of the necessary temperature in the compartment allows to ensure cargo safety. The compartment is equipped with a convenient system of guides for loading, unloading pallets or containers, and there are also locking devices to prevent cargo movement during the flight. The S-76 project will allow Russia to deploy cost-effective autonomous hovercrafts that will perform air cargo transport with minimal human involvement. According to Yevgeny Rubtsov, the BTSVABS-76 project is now at the stage of testing key technologies and basic technical solutions.